Now we're going to make some glossy text. Let's go to a uh, MoGraph, same again, text object, uh, Zobe, depth 100, oh, depth to 100, um, align middle, command C, command V, depth 80, caps start, fillet cap, radius of 2, end fillet cap, radius of 2, and then we'll see if we'll get that again like we had before. Um, and now we're going to make some new materials. Let's double click down here again and let's go to a nice, um, maybe a blue this time. Maybe a nice blue. Let's go. I'm going to go with that color. Uh, take, uh, you can take off specular, it's up to you. You don't really have to. Uh, let's go to reflection and let's go to texture and go for now. And then you can see it makes it really kind of glossy. So then we're going to drag that onto the, um, drag that onto the one we just made. So then. It will, it will make it nice, nice and glossy, but you can't see it in this right now. You can see that it kind of makes it a little bit like a kind of glow in some areas. That's what specular does. So if you want to untick that, go ahead. But I'm not going to for the sake of speed and time because I'm going to be quite short in this tutorial. Um, and now we're going to hold down both of the text objects. Go to object, go to font. Let's change it to Xyroid. That's quite a nice font. And you see we get that. And what you can do is you can just drag that onto the other one as well, onto the other text object. But obviously it won't look as good. But let's just do that for now. And then let's go to the cube here. Let's hold hold it down and click plane. Let's hit T on the keyboard and then we'll get these kind of arrows. And if we just drag it out, hold it, click and hold and drag to the top right like that. Um, and then just make that massive essentially. Um, and then you can double click on a new layer, go to that layer. We've got not go to uh, sorry go click on the new material and then go to luminance and just click luminance and just come off it and drag that luminance onto the plane and then what we're going to do is we're just going to move that down a little bit um, just so it's below the text and then what we're also going to do now is um, make a new plane like we did before drag it up so it's above the text go to width and go to width and just drag it down so it's kind of kind of thin and then make the height really long and then just move it so it's like above the first two letters then drag the luminance onto that and then hit command C command V drag it that way drag the next one in the middle and hit V again command V sorry and then drag that so it's just over the other one the other letters and then you see we get a nice kind of reflection now what a lot of you are going to be wondering is how to get rid of these in the final render so they're going to click on the plane and then click on the last plane so it will select all of them and right click Cinema 4D tags compositing and then where it says here seen by camera just untick that and see if we render that now we won't get any of it but in it will still be nice and glossy so we can just move it around change the view of it and we'll still get some nice glossy text that's uh, quite a nice quite a nice effect we've got going on there so we can always just change it if you want to see so if you want to duplicate a uh, material just hit control on the keyboard and drag the material out so I'm just going to duplicate that um, blue material that we made earlier on double click on that and then we're going to change the colour, make it maybe a little bit brighter, maybe like a little bit lighter, and then drag that onto the outer one. And that's the outer one. And then um, now I won't change it too much, so we're just going to go onto the uh, text object. Did we drag it back? We didn't drag it back, that's why. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I forgot to drag it back in my speed. So let's go back onto that, and we're just going to drag that back so it's in the middle of the text, like we did before. And you see now it should be nice and glossy. See, it's glossier. We've got a nice blue outline, so we can always just bump up the uh, fillet caps on that. Maybe to four. Go on caps and just go to fillet cap and just bump up to four. And you see, you'll get like a nicer blue. You can always just switch these colours around. It's up to you. It's up to you which colours you have. It's just completely up to you which fonts and what letters, obviously. And you, I encourage you to be original in your designs. Don't try and copy me for everything. I mean, that's what I'm making tutorials for to try and help you guys. But always be original. Always just try and find your own style and things. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go hit a light, just click that and you see it make it really dark. That's always quite a nice effect if you want to make some nice, nice dark uh, kind of text that looks glossy. You can always just click light and it'll make it like that, it looks kind of evil. Um, but if you want to make it a bit brighter, go on here and go to array and then drag that light into the array and then you see it will brighten up a lot. You want to take the radius so it's just so it's around the text and then drag, take the uh, take the array up so it's kind of in the middle of the text and if we render that out you'll be able to see it's a lot brighter 
So the way to reduce that is we'll go to intensity, maybe make it 50, and shadow, go to shadow map soft, and you'll see it will change it by quite a lot. But um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can do here. You can always just change the color of the light by that. Um, but yeah, this is this is quite a useful light studio. I use this quite a lot, but I use the other one as well. So if we just group these, we can just flick between the two. So that's that's the glossy one. Uh, let's just get rid of that for a second by clicking, making them both red. And let's go to this one and just make these non-red. So you see, we have this one here, which is kind of like a glowing graffiti kind of text. I use that text in uh, Toy Soldiers background. If you want to go check that out, you can. Uh, and then we have this one. So let's just get rid of these which is kind of like a nice glossier text but if you want to just drag the light out and then we can make it like really kind of dark and glossy which looks kind of cool in my opinion so yeah guys this has been Asis Zobe I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I know it's been quite fast paced and I've spoken quite fast um, if you want to see any other tutorials just leave a comment below